With a successful thank you page, you can build better relationships with your audience and transform leads and sales into loyal returning customers. You might think that building a professional looking thank you page is hard. The truth is it's easy with the right tools. So in this video, I will show you how to make a thank you page in WordPress with no design experience and no coding. Hi, my name is Chris from Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress. Seedprod has a built in drag and drop editor that lets you build landing pages quickly and easily. Please subscribe to the channel for more easy to follow tutorials and to learn how Cprod can create amazing landing pages for you. So the first step is that we wanna open our WordPress dashboard and we wanna install a plugin called Cprod. So if you come over to cprod.com, I'll leave a link in the description for you. And we wanna get Cprod because we wanna use the pro license to get the best features out of it. After you create an account here, we're going to log in. Now on the left hand side, this will be the email address and password that you use to create an account with. So go ahead and fill those in and then click the login button. After logging in, you'll be presented with the Seedprod dashboard and we want to click the downloads tab right here. And now we can click the big orange button to download the pro version of Seedprod. Let's go ahead and click the little icon here for the license key to copy that. We're all done with this page. Once your download is completed, you can close this. And now we want to come over to plugins and add new inside the WordPress dashboard. Now let's go to upload plugin and we can actually just drag and drop this file here. If you're using a different browser, you can choose the file on your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click install now and then activate the plugin. Now right here is where you will copy and paste your license key that we copied and we will verify that key and you should get a green success message right here. If everything went well, you can close this little tab at the bottom if you have that open. And now we wanna to go to pages. We have the whole seed prod section here on the left in the menu now. Let's click on pages and we can immediately see the different modes that seed prod offers. And then the landing pages on the bottom. I recommend that you subscribe to the YouTube channel as I will have and or already have tutorials for these different modes and many other videos related to seed prod and using seed prod. So let's go ahead and create a new landing page as we want to use the thank you page. Immediately seed prod is going to ask you to choose a new page template. Now if you're comfortable enough to go in and create your own page you can select a blank template right here or even a simple template to give you a bit of a head start. Otherwise we can filter these or we can scroll through all of these professional professionally designed templates and you can just import one and work with that. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So we can filter these down by the thank you templates. And now these are all professionally designed and mobile friendly as well. So you don't have to worry about that. So each one you can preview it with the magnifying glass. If you want to go ahead and do that to see a bigger preview of it and you can preview as well the mobile version of that. So you can choose the template or you can close and select a different one. I'm gonna go ahead and select this one right here and we wanna enter a page name. So I'm just gonna name this simply thank you and we'll save and start editing the page. Now you're immediately presented with the seed prod editor. Now you can see this page is already created for you and you just need to go in and change the content and maybe the colors and the images to suit your product or services. So to do that, we have different sections and we have rows and blocks and they're all color coded here. So this one is the section and it's purple. There is a row here and that's blue. And then we have columns and, and blocks, which are orange here. So you also see they all have settings here above little icons. So we, have, we can move this, we can change the block setting. So this is the image block. So if I click on the cog wheel, you'll see on the left-hand side, all of the options change for that specific block. We can save this block if we want. So if we come back over, you'll see this saved at the bottom of the block section. And we'll get to this in a moment. Now you can also duplicate this. So if I click, you'll see a second one here and then you could move that around if you like. We could delete this. So that's the little delete icon and that's all we have for those. Now on the left hand side, we do have our blocks here, which you've probably already seen. We have standard blocks and advanced blocks that come with seed prod. So they range everything from headlines, images, videos. We have advanced ones, which are giveaways, opt-in forms, progress bars, login forms, star ratings, etc. And they're simple to use. So we could just drag and drop one of these blocks over and now we have a headline, right? And now we can check the block settings and we can just change this, hello world. So there you can put whatever you text you want in. You can align that however you want. You can change the font size to whatever you like and the level. So this will be your, your heading that you can put on it 
for search engines if that's a requirement for you. There's also some advanced tabs here. And as well, if we click on certain blocks, they will have a templates section as well. So these are pre-made design styles that you can just quickly and easily switch to. So here's one, here's a different one. There's a different one. Now this looks like it's a transparent background. So it's kind of editing the back of that as well. So this little hello world, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now you want to click on these and modify the content. So you would change the text here, whatever you're offering. So you, at this point they're on the thank you page. So they've either signed up to something like a newsletter or possibly bought your service or your product. And now you want to get a little bit more out of them. These are people that are inclined to take action. So why not get them to do something else? So maybe give them a coupon. Maybe you could have them share something, a specific page with their friends. This would be a great place to offer a giveaway. So Raffle Press is the recommended giveaway plugin by SeedProd, and you can do some fantastic things with Raffle Press. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to check this out. And I also believe that the thank you page would be a great place to have a contest or a giveaway, giveaway like that. So now that you're a little bit familiar with the blocks, let's take a look at sections right here. So sections are pre-made areas of a page that you can just simply import. So we have headers and heroes and called actions, FAQs. So let's say you wanna use this, you can just import that and it'll put it at the bottom here for us. And then you could just click and you could modify the sections, questions and the block of text there. Now you'll see that it automatically adopted the color scheme here. And these are based usually off of the, the global color settings. So I'm gonna delete this section for now. And let's get into these icons on the bottom. So we know about blocks, we know about sections. Let's check these out. So on the left hand side, we have our global settings and we can go through and pick our fonts. Now you can pick a, a font specifically for each block if you want. So you could go under advanced and then change the topography here, or you could use the global settings. Now these are always going to override the global settings. So if a color doesn't change when you change a global setting like a color or a font, just check the block itself and there's a good chance that the style is being overwritten inside of that. So let's go to the global and then go to fonts and now you can change the header. So let's say this one and for the body just pick a random one and you can see that those both updated as they're using the header and the body. Now if you're not sure which ones match well together, we do have some presets here that you can select from. So let's say this one looks good to you. You can see that those updated immediately. Now we also can do the same thing with colors. So we can modify the headers, text, buttons, links, or background. You can see that those are taking the colors, so that yellow from here. Now, if, again, if you're not sure, you can select something from the color palette here. As well for the background, there is a background color here and you can use a solid background. You can use an image. So if we deleted that, that'll go away. And this would be a good time to show you down below. We do have an undo and redo. So let's undo that and we can see that that image comes back. You can also do a gradient. So from one side to another or radial and you can change the background color with a gradient. Now we have position so you can position that background however you want and you can have complete control. You can dim it if you want a little bit darker as well. The content position if you want to use a background, a video background. You can just paste in a YouTube URL here. And if you're familiar with CSS, you can add your own custom CSS in here as well. On the bottom, we have the layout navigation. So we can select any item on the page just by hovering over. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to really narrow in which piece you're looking for. Otherwise, you can just select it under this area right here. We have the revision history and I've showed you the undo and redo. And lastly, we have the mobile preview, which you can then make your changes for the mobile version. All right, so let's go ahead and actually change the content here. So let's select this image. And I'm gonna delete this and you can use your own image if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this picture right here of a shoe. If you don't wanna use that, you can use a stock image and you can search. So let's say something like food or whatever you wanna use. And then you could just click and import that right here and then modify the size to something different so it fills that size in. So for me, I'm gonna use this selected image and let's maybe make that I don't know, just to take up the whole section there. Now we could go to the global settings and we could get rid of that wine background because that doesn't make much sense. And I'm gonna use this wood pattern here. So we'll select that and it has a nice wood look to it. Let's go back 
to the colors. And I'm going to change this to a different color palette that makes sense. So maybe something with this yellow. And then you can see that this background color of this section or the, the row is not updating because it's set in here. So we could select our own color in here. So I'm going to go with maybe an off white, like a, just a light gray, just a little bit, maybe not that much, something like that. And then we can select that image and give it a nice white border so it just pops off there a little bit. If I come back to my background, they do have that dim as well, which I think would look good just to make this middle section pop a little bit better. So there you go, in seconds, we've taken control of the look of the page quite easily. Maybe the only other thing I would change are the social icons here, which are kind of dull. So you can add or change these to whatever you like. And the style, maybe stack to pop out a bit more and you can change the size as well to something more prominent. You can center those, or you can change the alignment. We do have templates here as well, so you can change immediately the look and feel of those. So I'm gonna go with maybe these nice round ones here. And then under advanced, you can take the space between and space it out a little bit. I mean, you could make them huge as well if you want it to be a little bit over the top. Um, and I think I'll just keep these maybe a little bit closer together. So now the spacer, we have a spacer up here. This is one of the blocks offered by seed prod and that's its whole job is just to create space. So you can select on one of these and then it just creates a bunch of space. I don't think we need that for right now. So we can go ahead and delete these. And there we go. Let's just save this and preview. And so there we go. We have a nice looking thank you page. So one more thing I'll show you are the opt-in forms. Let's go ahead and drag this and drop this in. By this point though, usually on a thank you page, you would probably already have the customer or client's email address. But if you don't, you can just drag and drop this over. We'll hide the name for now. You have all of the options here. So for example, submit button, you could say join our newsletter or maybe download our ebook or whatever kind of sales magnet you want to offer here or to collect their email address. And what I wanted to show you is if you go to the connect tab up here, you can connect your opt-in forms to your favorite email marketing service. So you can keep track of emails inside of Seedprod under the subscriber page in the WordPress dashboard, but you can also come in here and hook up your favorite email marketing service. So for example, constant contact, you would go to their website, create an account, and then we would hit connect. And then we could say connect new account and they will provide you with an API key and they have documentation and support to help you find that, but it's usually quite easy to find. You'll bring that over here and paste it in, give it a connection name. This is optional and then hit connect. And now you're all good to go with constant contact or any of the other ones that you select. And then lastly, we have the page settings. Under here, we have general SEO analytics scripts and custom domain. So under general, we can change the page title. You can customize the page URL. You can put the page status to publish, but I always use this little drop down right here. I find that easier instead of coming in here. So when I'm ready, I'll just publish it. You can show the seed prod link. And if you turn that on, you'll see a little link in the bottom right corner usually. Um, or you can join the affiliate program and paste that in here and get 20% commission on, on sales that you refer to seed prod, which is a great little bonus income. Now, isolation mode you can enable, and this will just enable all of the required files that seed prod requires to run properly and quickly and functional instead of conflicting with any other plugins or themes under the SEO tab. We recommend that you install all in one SEO, the best WordPress search engine optimization plugin that you can use. And that's the same thing with analytics. We highly recommend monster insights for all your analytic plugin needs. Under the scripts, if you ever need to post or paste in a header script, body script, or footer script, you can do that right here. As well as custom domain mapping, we can turn this feature on. You can map a specific page to a URL. Instead of having a long URL like this, you could map that directly to a specific URL. Now, I'm sure this is a tutorial that I'll be working on in the future, so you can keep an eye out for that. So if we come back to design, and we're sure that we're all ready. I'm going to get rid of this opt-in. I was just showing that as an example. Save this page and let's go ahead and drop down and publish this and see it live. Now, there we go. We can see it looks great. We have full control over the page and this works with any type of landing page. So please check out the other tutorials 
to get a good idea of what you can do with it. We can create some really nice, beautiful layouts and pages eye-catching to sell your products and services. I hope this video helped you learn how to create a thank you page in WordPress. If you'd like to continue learning more about Seedprod and how to use it and how to create different landing pages, check out this video on how to create a simple landing page. It'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to use our professionally designed landing page templates for your own products and services. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.